Hey guys, so this is the final video about my Static Strike Guardian Minion kind of build. And this was my first character in the Delve League. And I actually reached level 90, which never happened before on the first character in the league. Mostly because I avoided doing maps and doing higher tier maps and fighting uh, bosses. And just focus on farming maps and going deeper into Delve. And that's the thing about this build, it's designed mostly for map clear and not for bossing. I did buy a phoenix map just to try it out and clearing tier 16 map was fine, I had no issues with that, it just bossing was kind of meh. I am on a 5 link however. And since it was my first character in the league, I had a limited amount of currency, so this build can still be improved but overall it's just not made for bossing. As in, you don't have enough of DPS to, to deal with bosses fast. Oh and talking about the delve, I did manage to reach 179 depths and I could easily keep going deeper and deeper. Especially if I got a 6 link and managed to get a corrupted Mjolnir with fortify and hit. I don't have a lot of clips to show, mostly just uh, delving, just the clear speed of uh, progressing through delves and, and all that stuff. And in the previous video I did talk about static strike potential. And if you missed that video you may want to check it out because I talked about other build ideas and uh, what you can do with static strike. And in this video I'm not gonna talk too much about static strike and how it works. I'm just gonna talk about what I'm using, items, skills, passive skill tree. As always timestamps will be in video description. As always this build guide video is just a template. If you want to get same results you can follow this build guide or you can use it as a template and adapt it to your own liking. So let's start with items. Dual Mjolnirs, one has arc linked with control destruction and lighting penetration and another one has shock nova, lighting penetration and control destruction. I have plus 2 minion helmet and I'm using herald of purity, rootless, melee physical damage and minion damage. Rootless is nice because it has very low mana multiplier, only 110%. So with these 4 links my herald of purity reserves 43% of my mana. For the body armor, since I don't really have leech right now, I decided to get Azir's Splendor body armor, which helps a lot to sustain your life pool. Not really against bosses, but it's not meant for bossing. And this is Static Strike linked with melee physical damage, elemental damage of attacks, physical to lighting and lighting penetration. For 6 link I wanted to use uh, fortify, but if I could get corrupted Mjolnir with fortify on a hit, then I guess I would use uh, rootless. It would not increase my mana cost that much, because as you can see I don't really have a lot of mana to spend. For the amulet I am using Azir's foible because it increases mana region which I really need and also reduces uh, attribute requirements. So for Mjolnir I only need 109 strength, 225 I believe intelligence. It is pretty important to get enough accuracy so I try to get that on uh, rings combined with a couple damage mods and life resistances. Same for gloves, accuracy, life resistances, any attributes if needed like strength or intelligence or dex. Boots, nothing too special, just movement speed, triple res, life, simple stygian wise build, just life resistances. Oh, inside my gloves I have Summon Holy Relic linked with, uh, well, it doesn't have to be linked, but Flame Dash, Stone Golem and Wrath. With Stone Golem and Holy Relic combined, I do get over 700 life region. And also because this is a garden, you get a passive heal every 5 seconds, you get healed by 30% of your life over 1 second. And then in the boots, for more tankiness, I do have Gasman Damage Taken linked with Enfeeble and also Phase Run with Increased Duration. Now for the passive skill tree and also leveling process, I probably would not recommend leveling with static strike. And maybe only use static strike once you can use Mjolnir's. And until then just use smite. And don't forget that smite only uses main hand weapon. As for the guardian ascendancy notes, first I took radiant crusade and then unwavering crusade. Herald of purity minions do feel amazing while leveling. But they are not really that useful while speed clearing because they are always behind you. But they do help a lot against bosses. Then from merciless lab I would probably recommend taking time of need. And if you get uh, uber lab done then take harmony of purpose. And here's the rest of the passive skill tree. Those new minion nodes and new minion wheels are really pretty good even if you don't use minions. And the rest is just getting life accuracy and some skill effect duration. And that's about all. As for my next build, I'm not entirely sure. I did start a Golemancer with that new unique uh, amulet, but for some reason I just don't really like it. So I did plan a Warcry build. I may do a quick video about that Golemancer tomorrow. If not then most likely it's gonna be about a Warcry Berserker using Dendrobate's axe and most likely using free Warcrys. So until then, thank you for watching and see you soon.